Welcome my political friends of the interwebs. I just want to do a quick follow up to my USMC Pistol Team 2012 video that was pretty well received and big big thanks to uh, Pete of the Armory Channel who uh, who actually gave this particular video a shout out. Um, Pete, you're the best. I've said it a million times, you are the best. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people have asked me when the next video is coming <laughs> and I have to tell you what went down because there's there's not going to be another video um, with the Marine Corps pistol team per se and that's my screw up and, and I'm, a, I'm gonna tell you I'm just gonna come clean about this whole thing the, the, the going out to Camp Perry for the annual national match um, was a kind of accident. It, you know, I've been there before. I've, I've never shot it. Although, uh, in my younger years, I used to shoot competitive, competitively. Um, I've never shot it at Camp Perry. I, I, I might try it next year. It depends. But, um, probably not. <laughs> a friend of mine, actually my cousin, called me up and he said, Hey, he said, uh, me and Al, who's a friend of his, is going out to Camp Perry for a natural match. You want to go? And um, <clears throat> the, the whole thing, the match lasts for a week. So I'm like, yeah, I want to go. Because they have this, un and I will show some of this. This will be in videos coming up. But they have, it's like a guy's, guy's paradise. They've got building after building after building of nothing but um, vendors. <laughs> you know, selling all kinds of stuff. You may have seen the bullet bunker video. It's one of, that was one of the vendors. Um, pretty cool stuff. So anyway, here's the deal. So I grabbed my camera because I thought, eh, you know, there'll be some cool stuff out there. And, and I wouldn't mind getting some video of the shooters that are on the line. Uh, but I only grabbed two memory cards. Well, my camera, <clears throat> and this the one I'm using now primarily is is a, um, it's not real old, but it's it's a Canon and it takes SD cards. But it's too old of a of a camera, you know how technology is, to take the SDHC cards, which are the high capacity cards. So the best I can do is two gigabytes per card. So I took four gigabytes. Well, I've got this camera set to, uh, to only film in 1080, which takes up, a, as you know, a lot of memory. So, <clears throat> but I didn't think anything of it because I thought, yeah, I'm gonna film a little few things here and there and film some shooters on the line and that will be it. And I knew they had some tanks and some other stuff like that, helicopters and stuff. So I thought, well, I'll get some of that while I'm there. Here's what happened. So I go there, and the first thing I film is uh, Shooter's Row, where all the vendors are at. And I'm walking from, and you'll get to see some of this, but I'm walking from building to building. I did I, I did shoot one very cool video out of all that, and that was the building that had the NRA's trophy room. And it had every trophy that was given going to be given away at the uh, match, and, and or... A lot of most of these trophies had, you know, the little name plaques that you put on them. So they were trophies that had been in this uh, national match for a hundred years. It was very, very cool. Wait till you see that. That will be almost as cool as this video with with uh, Staff Sergeant Sunday. Um, so anyway, I blew through a whole card uh, shooting that, and then I started shooting some of the tanks and stuff like that, and I blew through about half a card. And then I went to the line and I started shooting some of the uh, shooters. I started videotaping some of the shooters that were on the line um, shooting, you know, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, a lot of wind coming off of Lake Erie. I don't even know how much of that's usable. Um, in fact, at a certain point, I thought to myself, the wind's coming in pretty strong. It's going to make a lot of noise on this camera, so I, I might as well just stop. And then over the corner of my eye, I seen a row of military... Um, trailers you know uh, I think they call it maintenance vans or whatever um, and they had the Marine Corps and it had the Navy and it had the Army and it had the had every branch plus guard units and or you know National Guard shooting team and and you know all that stuff reserves whatnot so I thought well you know maybe I'll go over there and get an interview uh, with a couple of the armorers and maybe even get lucky enough to get an interview with a couple of the shooters. Well, I immediately go to the Marine Corps van because I've, you know, <laughs> I was in the Marines. So um, I'll pu I poke my head in there and, and asked uh, uh, for, you know, the Marine, uh, the Marine armor, and um, or actually I think I asked for. I said, anybody in here on the Marine Corps shooting team? And the the van that I went to, the the trailer that I went to was for the pistol team. Um, and this dude named Staff Sergeant Sunday said, yeah. I said, do you mind if I get you on cam, a little interview on cam? He's like, no problem. I said, well, let me shoot you outside of this trailer, and then I'll come in and interview you. 
Um, so I shoot the outside of the trailer. Well, it dawned on me, holy shit, I don't have a lot of room left on this uh, card. And I was down to my last card. So I get up on the trailer and, uh, and do the interview, the one you're looking at right now, what you had seen. And the whole time, I'm, in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, I got to get a decent interview in here, but I've got to cut it short because I don't want I don't want this thing to end mid, end mid sentence or something like that. So that really sucked because I could have thought of a million other things to continue to ask him about. One of the things I wish I would have asked him about was what's the next actual duty weapon going to be? Um, you know, once they retire the M9, what you know if he had any insights into that. You know, um, I mean, who knows? I mean, I, there could have been a million things that could have came out. I, and oh, unfortunately, you know, it didn't happen. So when I got done with the interview, I realized I only literally had maybe two minutes worth of space left on the uh, card. And so there you have it. And as I'm leaving the trailer, I'm looking at all these other trailers, and every one of them was decorated up just like you see at the beginning of this video. Um, and I thought to myself, man, I could have spent four hours just interviewing armorers from all the branches, maybe even the shooters. I would have loved to have talked to the armorers for the Marine Corps rifle team. Um, oh my God. Well, you know, another interesting little fact to me too, when, uh, when we got to the interview, um, he asked me, he goes, who are you with? Because, you know, I mean, yeah, I, and I looked at him, I go, I'm just a YouTuber. <laughs> you know? And I think he started thinking, oh, God, this is going to go on YouTube. Well, there are rules for the Marine Corps. And um, he goes, can you do me a favor? He goes, before you post this on YouTube, can you get a clearance from, from uh, you know, our media people? And I said, yeah, no problem. And I promised him that I would do that. And that really went smooth. I was really surprised. Um I ended up uh, getting an okay from a captain in the Pentagon who basically said, yeah, this fits within our parameters of acceptable, whatever. And then I actually talked to the uh, Marines um, YouTube people, too, and they're really cool. Um, so it worked out really well, and they were I think they were all pretty happy with it. I mean, why wouldn't they be happy with this? This is a really good interview and, and definitely shows the Marine Corps um, uh, in a positive light, which is the most important thing as far as everybody's concerned. Um but yeah, you know, I think that uh, uh, this would have been YouTube gold had I um, had I only had more cards, <laughs> you know. But you know what? There's always next year. Now I do know that they're on a stay of a circuit. There's a shooting. There's a shooting schedule. Um, and maybe if I can, uh, maybe I'll contact them and find out where uh, where else they're shooting. I mean, if it's doable, um, I don't know if they'll be back shooting at Camp Perry or not. But if it's doable, I wouldn't mind going uh, wherever they're going to be at. Uh, whatever whatever meet or match they're going to be at and try to get some some more stuff uh, but i knew you guys would love it i mean because it's 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 cool i mean it's cool these guys are are some of the best in the world and uh, i'll tell you what i would love to have him build me a custom gun <laughs> and i might see if i can't make that happen um i just not sure which one i think i'd like the, the 45 uh but to be honest with you i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind that m9 customized or you know the the Smith and Wesson Model Forty One. I, I don't know. You know, I'd be in the comment section. Let me know if, if you could have this guy make you a custom gun. Which one would it be? You know. Um, so anyway, that's the that's my screw up as far as uh, you know as far as the um, you know the videos go. You won't be seeing any more with the United States Marine Corps pistol team, unfortunately. Uh, at least no time soon. Um, but I do want to thank uh, Staff Sergeant Sunday. He was a first class guy just really nice extremely professional well what you would expect from from a, a marine for sure um re just really a great guy just a really fantastic guy and he was very gracious to give me the time that he did um and it was a great interview to be honest with you um i uh i truthfully i should have probably just shut up and let him talk <laughs> because the man is a, a a wealth of knowledge when it comes to firearms you know, he's just a really good guy. I'm really happy that I got to meet him. I wish I would have got some contact information from him um, because I'm serious when I when I tell you that I'd love to have him make a custom gun for me. I don't know what something like that would, would cost, um, but I would definitely love to have uh, a custom competition handgun made by the guy that, that special tunes the Marine Corps pistol team's guns. I mean, I, I sorry, but that would just be over the top for me. Now I know some of you guys that were Navy or Army guys or Air Force guys guys would probably prefer your your team, but um, and then truthfully, any one of those guys would probably be awesome. 
you know, but uh, but I would definitely, it would really be special if I had one from this guy. But anyway, I, I don't know, you know, he's he's the head armor, but I'm not sure, um, to be honest with you, if he'll be there for next year's um, uh, national match. I don't know. I, I don't know. It'd be it'll be interesting to I'll try to find out though. But anyway, that's all I got, and I'm really bummed that I can't. A lot of people are like, "Yeah, when's the next video?" I love this. Well, <laughs> now let me tell you something. I keep looking because there will be some more Camp Perry stuff. Um, just not as cool as this. Although I will tell you the the uh, the cool thing about the NRA trophy room uh, video that I'm going to have coming up is that there was an old timer from the NRA there who was basically in charge of all the trophies. And he really was fascinating. He had all the kind of knowledge that old timers have and just talked about the trophies and the history of it all and, and all that stuff. And when you see some of these trophies, they're just works of art. They really are. So anyway, that's all I got for you. Everybody take care. See ya!